Baby, you let's try, go there. Is, I was not feeling that. I, we need to go there because my friend really advised me that is the best spot with the best panorama of the city. We need to go there. No, baby, I'm tired. I don't want to go there. I don't feel even to go out tonight. Well, yes. Yes. It didn't work out as amazing as the, the person planned it. Ciao ragazzi! Ciao ragazzi! And welcome back to Lampis! In today's video we really wanted to share with you something that we never even thought we would ever talk about because I think our proposal was very personal, very well thought, very cute and also it, it's one of those things that are well, well, well thought. In the end it didn't work out as planned. It was, it, it's kind of a failure what you thought you wanted. Ah, yes. Yeah. It didn't work out as amazing as, it, as the, the person planned it. But at the end of the day it was really also very nice and emotional. So today we just really want to go into it. was cute. Mm -hmm. I would say it was very, very It was cute. cute. It was stressing for me a little bit because I, I, <laughs> things that didn't work out as it's a plan. A but, <laughs> but it was know? nice. Uh, so we are talking now 2016 huh? already. The 2016. No, I'm... 2017. Yeah, 2017. I'm always confused. When did we get married? 2017. Did we get married in 2017? The first time, yes. No, baby. Are you married already two times? Yes. No, baby. You only married once. Two times, like, who is your second wife? I can't tell you. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got married in 2017. Mm -hmm. And we also got engaged in 2017. Mm -hmm. 10th, 30, 30th birthday. Somebody made a nice surprise and prepared a very nice thing for me. Yeah. So Amazing. So, it was my birthday. Yes. And, and Ali was working very hard. birthday. Let's do something special, you know. Of course, I had already in mind the, the proposal things. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I wanted to, to give it like... Uh, to get, Not to make it as as clear as possible i wanted to to just to be a surprise so uh, the 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 excuse for us to going to budapest because we went to budapest it was her 30th birthday so i would say oh let's go let's do something uh, special it's your 30th birthday let's let's um um, you know, uh, go for a short holiday in Budapest. It's a nice city. So uh, everybody so that went there told me that uh, that is a nice city and there is so much, so many things to see and the food is nice and so on. So let's go there. So we organized the trip as usual. I choose. Uh, I say, yeah, that is your birthday, so I want to pay. I choose a really nice uh, hotel, uh, like a four-star hotel, so, uh, and. That was amazing. And then we went there and the plan was like... Let me ask you one thing just before you go, Jimmy. Yeah. Like, uh, when did you know you wanted to propose? How long have you... Like, like when did you decide, I want I to propose to I would say uh, the Christmas, Christmas 2016. Ah, okay. That's when you decided. So I, it, it took me six months. <laughs> it took me kind of six months to get uh, really a plan. But yeah, I already knew that I wanted to, to propose to you in, in the coming year, so I was looking for a, a, a chance to do that in a romantic way. And then your birthday comes along, your 30th birthday, and I said, yeah, let's do that. So basically, uh, what I did, I planned this, this trip uh, in, uh, it was a, oh, I was long, like four days or three days in, uh, in Budapest. And then... Uh, my plan was okay. First day because we came, I, I think two or three days before the the um, your birthday. So the first two days we just visit the cities and uh, and you know just have a look around. It was, the city was really nice. The food was nice. So we had already some dinner out, etc., etc. But then the real plan was for her birthday. Then uh, uh, I supposed to propose uh, somewhere. Like I supposed to take her. Uh, to uh, to a special place with a, a, a view and then propose to her 
and then going to a restaurant that I already chosen and reserved that uh, was really nice and that a friend of mine advised me to, to book. Okay. So, you knew you were going to propose since six months ago. Yeah. Why you never looked for a ring that, that since then? I did look for a ring once in a while, but uh, I, di I couldn't find something that really uh, um, was nice. I didn't find something that was particular, like an engagement ring that I think, yeah, that is something that I don't see around. Because, you know, usually there is this single diamond, this, the ring is sim really simple. But I wanted to have something particular. And actually, uh, when was about time and I saw that... Uh, I was running out of... Oh, uh, yes! <laughs> like, it was okay, uh, you know, next week we need to go to Budapest. You There's still no ring. ring. I've looked around online if there were some jewelry things. And uh, and I found this this shop in uh, in um, in Budapest that is really it was really famous at the time. And I found a ring that I think it was nice. It's the one that... So, so you saw the ring, ring already? Before, Before we, went we, went there. we went there. Ah, you knew already. Yeah. You're only going the, to go to that the shop. biggest problem was how I'm going to just, you know, know get the size. No, apart from knowing the size, the size is not a problem because then you can also reduce it. But the, the, the biggest problem was like, how can I possibly find the time to go and buy this ring? while Lampy is busy in doing something, no? We so it's supposed to be a trip for your birthday, so we're supposed to be together 24-7, you know? And uh, that was not ah, you were possible, nervous I was nervous one. because I didn't want it to make you feel like ah, I is going to propose, I wanted to be a surprise so much that then uh, I was like, uh, okay, then I, I don't even remember what kind of excuse I found. I think it was wait, 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 let me yeah. tell you. Before we went to Budapest, I was with my friends, and I felt like I don't know. Maybe you have you said something about it before. I was like, I think he's planning to propose, or also because I know our friends got got they propose or one of our friends proposed in Budapest. So I also just somehow thought, bro, he's mm -hmm. probably going to propose. Ah, to yeah. Okay. So, so when we went there, I kind of knew, I. Some initially I knew I think this is going to be a proposal. Are ah, you I, knew you already? Yes, I felt like that. So I went with my friend and I bought. If you remember, I bought some new sexy lingerie. I had a new set that I, I didn't that was even. for your birthday. Yeah, my sofa. Buy my sofa. <laughs> sexy lingerie. lingerie on my birthday. Yeah, no. so I felt like that. Yeah, so let me just say this. I felt like that, and then we went there. I I don't know. I have a feel. I had a feeling about it, but. To, somewhere through the trip, I lost the whole thing and I thought, okay, definitely it's not happening because I didn't know you wanted to propose on my birthday. Mm -hmm. So I thought the, I, the reason why we were going there was for the proposal. I thought that is what I, I really had that in mind. And we went there. Day one was amazing, romantic. We went to this nice place where we ate soup and stuff. Nothing happened. Day two was also amazing. We spent the whole day just exploring all amazing location in the city. Nothing happened. So I was like over it. I was like, this is not happening. I even text my friend like, no. This is not happening. This is not happening. It's wrong. That's the next day, which was day three. I just, I remember I even used my, my, my lingerie. I didn't any more wait for that surprise. I was like, this is not happening. So I'm definitely, today I'm going to put on my lingerie and just as a normal Yeah, so she was, him. basically and she I was, was over peace. It. No, I was, was not peace. Mm, but I was just. I think, see, you are at peace because then everything that I was proposing was no, no, no let's not do that. No, baby, no, I no. was not peace. <laughs> but I was just like, no, definitely this was wrong. Mm hmm but I also know this was the trip where we didn't do... Before we'd go on a trip and we just want to be eating in every nice restaurant and stuff. But I don't know. We walked so long. We didn't hire a car or anything. It was more relaxing and we just like happy to do just simple things and just mm -hmm. go to a small food, fast food thing, like Asian ramen thing and just have a small meal and it was fine. So on the day you wanted to propose when you were saying... This was even not in my mind anymore. And mm -hmm. you were like, let's go to this nice restaurant. I was really like... It was the, your birthday. Oh, yes. And we were, we, we already... Okay. 
First of all, when did I buy the ring? I, buy, I bought the ring the day before I wanted to propose, so the day before your birthday. Because I remember we were always walking by foot around the yes. city and we have seen so many things. So I think uh, the day before, you, yeah, we came home and you slept and I said, okay, baby, I don't feel sleepy. I'm going to have another round. I'll, I'll look and around. get and souvenirs for my parents. Yes, and get souvenirs for, for my parents. Instead, I went and, buy, and bought the know, ring. I think and it was when I saw the ring, I already saw it online, but that I was really nice because it was so small, so, um, I don't know, elegant. And I think, yeah, for your small hand, it would fit perfectly. And, and to be honest, I it think fits it's perfectly. Yes. It's really nice. So, I think you, if you know, I mean, we've been together for a long and you know, when it's time for me to sleep, you can do anything mm -hmm. you pretty much want. I would just say, go. I don't, it was not even on my mind. You went, you came back, I think I was still sleeping. Then, the next thing I had mm -hmm. while I was still sleeping is, uh, let's go to a restaurant. I was not feeling that yeah. at all. I was like, I don't feel hungry. It's a nice restaurant on top of the mountain. What, what, what? I'm really like, I just want to relax. We can just walk and get a ramen. And Baby, let's try go there. I was not feeling I, We need to go there because my friend really advised me that is the best spot with the best panorama of the city. We need to go there. No, baby, I'm tired. I don't want to go there. I don't feel even to go out tonight. And the day was coming to an end. It was already in the evening. It was 7 or 8. <laughs> so I, I tried like for 20 minutes to wake up in the all sweetest <laughs> possible way, way ever, way but it was sleep. like, but I was it was like sleeping. over, she was sleepy, she was not, ah, and then oh. uh, at the end I said, okay, you know what? You're going to propose to somebody while he's, she's still sleeping, but maybe who does that? <laughs> because otherwise <laughs> I wouldn't get the things done because it was impossible for you. Baby, I booked the restaurant. That is the thing. <laughs> Let's go there. It doesn't matter. You booked the so restaurant. So what was your idea? To go to the restaurant? To go to the restaurant uh -huh. and to have a nice dinner mm -hmm. and then to go to the spot with the nice view and give I you think. the ring. That was the, the, ah, the things. Oh, that would have, that would have been amazing. amazing. How can I yes. miss that? Because sometimes you're a little bit too hard. To no, I to was sleeping. Things. I don't you know. You were not sleeping. Yeah, but you know, it's your birthday and you want to spend your birthday but sleeping I in the room. I was tired because we spent the whole, the whole afternoon we were at the... One we were at the female place and when I came back I was like so I, then I decided, okay, you know, uh, that is going to be it. Let, let, let's do the things opposite. So let's propose and then let's have the, the uh, let's go out for dinner. Otherwise, we are not going to go anywhere. Oh, are you missing today. your proposal we, day? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. missing my proposal date and then all these things, these things that we have done, we went there and it was going to be like for nothing. No, it was going to be a nice birthday, but that was going to be it. So uh, then I, you know, I took the ring. I was there. I, I took it uh, like. In, in, <laughs> I was still on the I was sleeping. Crazy. Yeah, it was. Like I was this. sleeping, and I, I was trying to be really nice. I started to kiss her on the neck and say, "So give me, give me, give me your hand." Okay. You know, I was really okay. nice. <laughs> no, it's really nice. You know that you have a nice ring, and I put the ring. But <laughs> I didn't put feel ring. that. I... Yeah. No, no, you did feel that. I said. What is that? And I ask you if uh, I propose really? to you. Yes. I and, and you and I remember that you say that you didn't say yes or no. You just said yes. What is that? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I think in my mind I had something like, baby, you know we have really been together for a long time, and I think you're special, and I want to be with you the rest. I had something like that, and I was like, I'm I'm sleeping. Am I dreaming in this week? <laughs> So it was so weird, but then you know why? Because I was trying to say, let's go, let's go, and there was no way that she was would wake up. So I just said, okay, <laughs> like let, really? let's propose first, and then we can enjoy the evening at least. If you should have asked my mother, I would probably tell you when Lent is leaving, don't try nothing. Good. Don't try nothing. <laughs> So yeah, that, and then after that, of course, I uh, woke up really with excitement. With excitement, <laughs> yeah. Of course, she was excited, and then. Uh, then we went to the restaurant. We went to the restaurant. That's nice. Yes, we went to the really restaurant. Nice. Yeah, the restaurant. Kind and then, late. We're and then, but after the restaurant, we didn't go to the viewpoint anymore, I guess. 
I don't know. Where was the viewpoint though? The viewpoint was next to the nearby the restaurant. But I remember I think it was too dark and it was too neighbors. no, yeah, it was too dark and then I supposed to check that on my on my phone but it was without uh, without charge because <laughs> I didn't put uh, on the on the charger. Amazing proposal. Yes. Uh, do you remember that we even asked to ask the restaurant to call us a taxi because I didn't have the the battery on my phone. <laughs> This is like so typical of you all the time with your yes. phone. It's so typical of you. I have really had a also a bad phone at the time, so it's always. But it was nice. It was nice. I just can't so be things didn't time. work out as planned. It was not like I I planned everything in my mind, but I didn't go and it didn't turn out to be the case. But it was nice as well. It was nice. I don't know. It was nice also because then when I went to the restaurant, I was in this mind of we are celebrating our engagement mm -hmm. and the food was really nice the food was nice the food was the nice. wine the wine awesome. my goodness hungarian food hungarian wine i really highly recommend especially the white one they're good i don't know it i think it was supposed to be nice but it's... no budapest is not hungary is no no it's but hungary okay the thing is hungary, yes. usually when you go on trips we're always eating every day at the restaurant so had you if it was like that from the beginning i think i would have easily gone to the restaurant but this time we were really like no we don't we didn't feel like mood to do most of these things that we usually do before mm -hmm. we were like just going to really eat. and there were so many small asian corners next to us where we just mm -hmm. have a nice ramen so i was like we kind of why are we now going to the restaurant? Yeah, but it's your birthday. It's you so want bad. to go? Yeah, but you want to go out for your birthday no, and eat in a ramen. Yeah, it's. I'm not. I'm not like big on celebration. I think you know that. Yeah, I know that, and that is something that always afflicts me because instead, uh, for me, these things are really valuable. You don't really care about birthdays. I do care, but I, I'm not. I have never even thrown a party for myself, you know, like, I, I'm not yeah. that kind of person. Yeah, yeah, Although yeah, I like yeah. partying, I think I can, I would throw a party for another person, but for myself, it's not something that I do. So, for my birthday, if we are just, if we didn't happen to go out and we stay at home, I wouldn't be pissed about it. Mm -hmm. Or if we just happen to have a normal meal and we say we do it another day, I wouldn't be pissed about it, but I think for you, it's something different. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was like, well... It was a nice birthday celebration. We have spent the whole day at the thermal place. What more would I want? Mm -hmm. I was not interested in the restaurant at all. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I wish you had given me a sign and say restaurant proposal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But it was it was also very nice. When I woke up, I I think I've never woken up that fast. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I think they were, hey, what are you doing? Yes, I was also a little confused because I was still like half asleep. Mm -hmm. Of all this time we've been together now, we propose to mm -hmm. me when I'm sleeping. Yeah, but... I, I remember the day before, right? We went to the bridge side yeah. just to watch the sunset. So in that moment, I was really waiting for this thing to happen, but nothing was happening. And I didn't was... the ring at the time. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and these are the things that mean because the first two days, amazing. We've visited some of romantic places, sunset along the river, beautiful. There was not even a lot of people. It was just pretty much us, and we took amazing pictures as well. I was like, no, it's definitely not happening. If it's not happening now, <laughs> but ah, you didn't yeah, have the ring. Thing. You yeah, didn't have the ring. ring. Mm -hmm. yeah, so then I was. There was no, no, nothing in my head telling me there, there is any proposal. It's like this: somebody wants to go to a restaurant, and I ain't feeling it. I'm not going to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I just felt like that. So the proposal was already like out. Over. Like, let's hope next year I will turn thirty-one, and hopefully it comes. Goodness. And now we are. Or maybe at forty it will come. So so like, like open. But I was like. I didn't expect it to come while I'm sleeping and uh, dreaming. And dreaming. And you were like, let me get your thing. I was, you know, I don't like somebody irritating me while I'm sleeping. I was like, hey, really irritated. Don't want to be punched with a ring. Mm. Anyway, guys, that is our engagement story. I hope that... Uh, That's amazing. 
It's regardless. I think it was definitely amazing. Yeah, it was amazing in and his own unique way, I would say. It was nice, baby. It was nice. We went to the restaurant after a while and we still did everything you planned. And the whole trip in general was beautiful. Mm -hmm. beautiful. We need to go back to Budapest. Budapest is really a nice city. Nice, cheap. The food was amazing. The wine was amazing. Obviously, if I'm going on vacation, wine has to be... Oh my goodness, we, I wish we can start traveling really, really no, soon. No, we need to start working. <laughs> we need to start working and doing real work, like go back to normal jobs and stuff. But yeah, if you enjoy this video, please leave us a like, subscribe to our channel. channel. Also, when you guys are subscribing, don't forget to hit the bell just right next to the subscribe button. In that case, you get to be informed every time we release a video. And we put out new content every week, I would say two to three times per week, depending on how free we are. That is it from us. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ragazzi. Ciao, ragazzi.